Hello guys, how are you? I'm I am Kai Chi Yang. Welcome to my show, Tech Take with Kai Chi. Today is episode 2. As promised, I'm going to present my video in English. Again, I will set up a timer to 10 minutes. Let's see how my performance to be today. Okay, let's start. Uh, training, Tech Takes. Okay, and uh, Standard. Start. Okay, let's start. And we have 10 minutes. Okay, so uh, we got this position. White has a pass pawn, and uh, this is the end game. So pass pawn is very um, important in the uh, end game. We have a pass pawn h6, which is almost queen here. So I'm pretty sure we will use this pass pawn to beat our opponent. But how? Um, if we push the pawn h7, king g7. Right and the rook h3, rook e8. So properly we can use this uh, e file to make something. So let's say bishop, let's say bishop e6, or knight knight go a uh, knight goes e6. So which one is correct? Knight e6 looks more. It's a forcing move. Bishop takes e6 and then we will have rook e5. And the, the only move for him is like bishop takes d5 and rook e7, king e7, h7. Yes, I think knight e6 is the move. So let's play this. Okay, bishop e, e6, rook e5, c3. I'm not understand why c3 is coming up. So probably just take it. And nothing, yeah, nothing changed. Rook takes e7, king takes e7 and h7. Okay, so uh, let's move on to next one. Okay, mm -hmm. bishop takes b3. Okay, so uh, a takes b. Uh, or C takes B looks uh, very uh, tempting, but uh, let's see what happened on the back rank. So black has two rooks here, and probably we can capture the, the rook on C8 first. For example, knight takes C8, or rook takes C8. This position is so complicated, I think. So uh, yeah, I, I, I will go knight C6. I, oh, sorry, I will go knight C8, and uh, oh, it's wrong. Rook takes C8 is, a, is the correct answer. So rook takes, rook takes, knight takes, bishop b6, knight b6. Yes, we should play knight c6. Okay, f6 right now. And uh, what should we do here? I think we should play rook c8. Be oh no, the queen, the rook uh, can protect the, the queen on b6, so rook c8 doesn't work. Um, so what should we do here? Uh, rook c if rook c8, rook takes c8. Um, how about queen d7? Queen d7 looks, it's a very good move. Queen d7, rook g8, and we will have uh, rook c8. And uh, yeah, and I cannot see how black can defend this position. So queen d7, rook g8, yeah, and rook c8. Oh, rook h2, just capture it. And the king just uh, like uh, h3. And uh, here, the only thing we need to notice that is uh, do not give a black a, a chance to make a perpetual. So king h3. Looks good, or rook g2. Rook g2 is not good, queen h3, and uh, black will have a perpetual. So king h3, yes, and this is the move. Let's move on, next one, queen takes a2. This is a middle game, and uh, we can attack black's king in the middle. So after queen a2, black threatening queen a1. So how can we use our pieces to kill black's king? So for example, bishop takes e5, queen a1, and king d2. Looks pretty good for us. And uh, there is uh, another option like uh, knight c7 or knight e7. Uh, knight e7. After knight e7, knight c4. Black will have knight c4. Knight c7, king f8. And uh, bishop takes e7, e5. Uh, yeah, it looks um, white can do everything here. Knight c7, king f8, and bishop e5. Right? So, uh, but I. I uh, oh, okay. So I. I prefer bishop e5. Actually, I prefer bishop e5. I don't know why. Probably bishop e5 is good enough. But knight c7 looks so tempting. So uh, I'm not sure which one should we play right now. Knight c7 where? Let's go bishop e5. Bishop g5 and then f4. And uh, I think that's good enough. What knight c7? Oh, come on. Which move should I go? Knight c7 where? Yeah, let's go knight c7. Knight c7, king f8, bishop e8, king check, king d2, rook d8, king e1, there's nothing, so knight c7, okay, bishop e5, yes, we are right, so next one, bishop takes e4, uh, we can go queen takes e4, for sure, and uh, I cannot see uh, 
what no why not take the e4 so just play queen e4 knight c2 okay so uh, we have uh, uh, knight e2 or queen takes e2 queen takes e2 is a uh, queen takes e1 is good enough to simplify the position and knight e2 knight c3 okay we got a winning position here so next one uh, e, e2 e3 e2 black has a pass pawn and almost queen but we have two rooks against one rook and one knight so um, we need to uh, try to uh, prevent this pawn. So black's nice move will be uh, e1, and uh, I think king f2 is the good, is the best one here. King king f2, but he still has like e1. Rook takes, knight takes, king takes. There's pretty much a draw game. So uh, how can we hold this position? Like we can attack the king, like rook h5. King goes d4, and we can make another check. And uh, king e3 is the only move, and we can play probably rook, oh, rook e, e4. Okay, let's double check here. Mm. Rook h5, king goes here, and uh, what's our nice move? Rook d6, king e3, the king can escape from through e3 to d2. So, um, rook h5. What should we do here? I think we, we should like control e3 square first and then make a check or even a check, checkmate. So rook h5, king d4, rook d6, king e3, rook make a check, king d2. Seems doesn't, it's not very well for us. Or what if king f4 first? Mm, if e1, rook h5, but king h f4, rook d4, right? So, um, it's not what we supposed to do, I think. Hmm. So I cannot find a way to uh, make some something concrete. But I'm pretty sure we should uh, manage an attack to uh, manage uh, something to attacking uh, Black's king here. So I will go to h5 for some reason. Hmm. Rook h5, king d4, king f4, rook f3 maybe. Yeah, let's make a check here. King d4, and uh, we need to find out nice move. So king e3 is coming. And uh, check, king e3. Oh. How to support? How to stop prevent e1 promote? Mm. Okay, king f4. I'm going to king f4. I think this one is the best. Okay, c3. If promote rook d6. So now we should uh, b take c3 or uh, or b3. I think b3 is good enough. Prevent king c3. Okay, rook takes king takes. Even promote to queen, even promote to queen, we will have rook d6 to make a checkmate. Oh, this one is a tough one. Okay, so let's see. Well, we only have one minute and 50 seconds. Let's see what happened here. Knight b6. And uh, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty sure we should attack the king. Even this is an endgame, but uh, uh, white's king is so weak. So probably we can use white's king to make something or win the material advantage. So uh, now we can play bishop b7, but or a takes b6. But if bishop takes b7, knight takes c4. So probably we should uh, make a check first. Rook d4, but king e3 or king c3. Uh, let's double check this position. Or rook d6, rook d8, king e3. Mm, bishop takes, or rook d8, rook d7. Probably we shouldn't make check first. What if a takes b6 first? I'm not sure what happened after a takes b6. Or, uh, or rook d4, king c4, king c3, uh, and rook d8. Yeah, rook d4 looks very good. And, oh, but what if king e3 here? Bishop takes b7, king d4. Uh, it's so... So tough. It's a tough one. Um, bishop b7, knight c4. Or we just move our rook to somewhere. 
and the threat in rook d8. Okay. Okay, almost done. 20 seconds. I have to make a decision here. A takes b6 or rook d4. Oh, somebody help me. I cannot find the answer. A takes b6. Rook bishop takes b7 or rook d4. Okay, I will go just the easy, as easy I can do. A takes b6. Okay, uh, time up. Rook b8 here, but rook f4. We win the, we win the piece. Okay, so uh, this is really intensive. Okay, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy as as much as enjoy as I did. Okay, so let's see what happened this time. Statistics summary. Oops. Okay, so uh, today we uh, did uh, like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven puzzles, and I did wrong one which is this one. It is a really e easy one after bishop b3. Yeah, I should have found rook takes c8, but I did knight takes c8. Actually, I'm not sure if knight takes c8 works, but probably rook takes c8. Yeah, it's the best one. And after rook c8, the position is much more easier for white to access. Okay, guys, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.